the nicer you are to them hoes, the worse their response is. I'm telling you, I've walked up to some flat ass white bitches who were just beautiful. There's a fucking 10 in the face. Ask them for their phone number, tried to date them. They'll give you some nice response. They'll be real nice to you, though. What black bitches will do? They'll say something rude, say something out of line, get smart with you. Ignore you like you didn't say shit to them. Serious business. I've never had a white woman do that to me, ever. I've never had a white woman make me feel horrible when I try to speak to her. So y'all do all this shit to get attention just so you can be an asshole to people once you get it. Somebody tell me I'm lying. Black women do all this to try and get your attention just so they can be a dick once they get it. So you do all this shit to change yourself so you can be more appealing then when you get attention, you talk shit and run around and act like you the baddest bitch possible when everything on you or 98% of the shit that's on you is fake. Hair's fake, nails fake, makeup fake, eyelashes fake, eyebrows fake, body fake, hair fake. Everything on this bitch is fake. And she the worst, most vain motherfucker on earth. There isn't a vain, there isn't a more vain bitch than black women. Is it everybody? No, it's not. But there are way too many cases of black women just being insufferable. For what reason? And then they constantly want you to protect them. Feel bad for them. Fuck them. Black women will drop you like they dropped this woman off when the shit got bad and they started it. That's what's messed up. They injected this woman and they dropped this woman off and they drove off with this woman's car. Now, bitch, you had enough money to get a BMW, but not enough to get a real BBL. And again, I ask y'all something. Y'all want me, I can this right here let you know white women are way better than black women, period. As a matter of fact, this lets you know every other race of woman is better than black women. This stat right here. Cut it out. Put it on your video. Let the world know I said it. Every other race of woman on earth is better than black women simply because of this. No other race of woman is getting thrown out of cars, left on sofas, missing all their damn limbs because they're getting at home ass surgeries. Black women supposedly have the biggest asses, the best bodies of all women on earth. So it should be other women dying like this. It should be a shit ton of Asian women dying like this. It should be a shit ton of flat back white women dying like this. But for some odd reason, the women who already have it, who are already born with it, are the ones dying from it. What, what, what would that hard-faced woman that you see on the screen, if she get a, a nice ass, what would she just look like? Uh, uh, um, a hard-faced bitch with a nice ass. That's pretty much it. You said, why not do some squats? Why not do a lot of damn things? But they don't. Black women don't want to take the easy road. They don't want, excuse me, they don't want to take the hard road. They want to take the easy one. They don't want to build with a man. They want a man that already got, and it don't matter what all came, come with it, as long as he already got. That's why they all chase the same nigga. It ain't different men fucking these hoes. It's the same men fucking different hoes. There's a lot of good men out here. They just don't want them. You should not feel sorry for anything that happens to black women when it comes to men, when it comes to the fathers of their children, because they purposely pick the worst dudes they could fucking find. Somebody tell me I'm lying. 
They purposely pick the worst dudes they can find. If you make it, if you go up to them and you talk to them like you got some sense, they don't want that. They don't want a man worth a damn. They don't want a man that's worth that that's that willing to be a father to their children, that want to be a husband to them. They don't want that guy. They don't want that guy that's willing to stay at home all night, not the one that's at the club all night. They don't want that guy. They constantly turn that guy down. This woman is 53 years old. Why doesn't she have a husband by now? Who are you trying to, to who are you trying to date? Whatever happened to these OEM black women? Whatever happened to them? But these surgeries are for a young bitch. The young bitch trying to get a man, I understand, but these are old bitches. But at a certain point in time, you'd think that these old women would just settle in to being old. I'm not saying be old and decrepit, but I'm not telling you that you can't go to the gym. I'm not telling you you can't get your squat on. I'm not telling you you can't look good as a 53-year-old woman because you can. Most of us would prefer it. But when you're so lazy that you just haven't get like, I've just been lazy as fuck. I'm not going to go and get a, a Twilight Breaking Dawn, break, break Dawn <laughs> stomach put in. Why would I do that? And then if I was going to get this twilight, uh, uh, this, this twilight breaking dawn stomach put in, you best believe I'm going to get it done by Dr. Miami. At least Dr. Fort Lauderdale. Y'all black bitches be going to Dr. Liberty City. Y'all be going to Dr. Cedar Grove. Y'all be going to Dr. Inglewood. Y'all be going to Dr. 63rd. Y'all be going to Dr. Bronx. Dr. East St. Louis. Like, what the fuck? Why you go to Dr. Lil Haiti? Dr. Lil Haiti? That's where you went? Y'all bitches be going to Dr. Kevorkian. I'm confused. Dr. Robotnik. Is that Dr. Porter Prince? <laughs> Why, where, where are y'all going? Why are y'all getting these people? To <laughs> Dr. Black Wall Street. Dr. Martin Luther King Drive. I just don't understand. Why would you be doing this? Why do you take your health? I mean, it's a thing. Here's the funny part. Black women, tell me if I'm lying. Y'all love to talk about how you don't skimp on purses. This is a Birkin bag. These are real red bottoms. Y'all love to talk about how you don't skimp on hair, this is real hair. Y'all love to talk about how much y'all pay for it. Why in the fuck would you then underpay for something that goes inside of your body? 
Why would you underpay for something that goes inside of your body? Y'all, we almost at the place where I will open up the open up the comment section. Uh, you are two hundred dollars away, and I'll open up the comment section. Now, again, I know it's a lot of people are going to get mad at me because of the way I spoke about this woman. They're going to say that I said what I said was wrong. They're going to say I should not have made jokes about Miss Maxine Messam. But let me ask you something: Why is it that I got to take your life? Excuse me, I got to take your death more seriously than you took your life? 